Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Friday, June 28th. Weeks go by, months go by, time goes by. Amen. It's all good because we get to live forever. This is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. And I truly believe that with all my heart. Okay, so here we go. So our Bible reading is about the eunuch over in the book of Acts, Acts 8, 26 through 40. And after um, Philip shares the gospel with him, the eunuch says, now as they went down the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, see, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, verse 37, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. So he commanded the chariots to stand still and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and he baptized them there. So many times I hear people say, I wish somebody would mentor me or someone would do this. But I see in the Bible where they hungered and they went after. Sometimes you got to hunger and thirst and ask, can you help me? Can you show me? Can you help lead me in the right direction? Don't always expect people to come to you. Go to them and ask them. Amen. All right, our prayer focus today is the homeless. Also, our states that we're praying for, number 43 and 44, are West Virginia, 39% evangelical Christians, and then Maryland, 18%. And the nation that we're praying for today is France. France has 68.5 million people to only 1.2% evangelical Christians. Is that amazing? So we're going to be praying for that area also. Amen. I believe God is moving in Europe like he's moving in the United States. Remember this, where sin abounds, grace yet more. Amen. Let's pray. Father, on this new day, or it could be a midday or an end of a day for my brothers and sisters here, our prayer partners, Lord, I thank you that you're doing something. Oh, sometimes it looks so small, but I think of Elijah sending a servant and say, go look. And he says, all I see is a cloud the size of a man's hand. And then the big storm came. Lord, all we see is it's so small right now, just the size of a man's hand. But something's up. Something's up. For where sin abounds, grace does yet more. So I thank you that we're going to see more grace. We're going to see more of something in, our, in, this, in these latter days. I don't think everything's going to turn around. Oh, no, no, no. The tipping point has come. But I believe many, many would be saved. I believe as Lot was pulled out before the judgment came, many are going to be pulled out. Many of our family members, people that we have been praying for, are going to come on in. And I thank you. Thank you for that. So we say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The same way you moved on this eunuch's heart, Lord. I know that you're moving through many, many barren people, eunuchs in the world, Lord. People that just haven't seen yet. And I believe many hearts are going to be open. And I thank you. Thank you for that today. Lord, as we pray for the nations, we think of Europe that was on fire for the gospel. Great men and women of God came from Europe. And yet... They got caught up in religion and have broken away from it. So we pray for France today. We pray for the people of France. And I thank you, Father, for the people of France having open hearts, open eyes, that the right people will come across their path at the right time. The same way we hear about Muslims having visions and dreams why not in France? Why not well, Why not in Italy? Why not in Spain? Why not in England? These areas that are just overwhelmed by what's going on, I just thank you for that. I pray for the NATO countries. I pray for Europe today, Lord. I pray for France. We pray for our world today, and on our prayer chart, we lift up Hong Kong, Belize, North Korea. Oh, we pray for the people of North Korea can't imagine being born in that land. South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, the Philippines. And we look at this 
this list and we see Japan 0.5 when we know McCarthy said, come on in, it's ripe Christians, come on in. And they didn't go. We pray for them. We pray for North Korea. We pray for Taiwan, the Philippines. Oh, we pray for these Asian nations right now, Lord. Many of these nations might be caught up in the war from the east that's going to happen in the Battle of Armageddon, in the Valley of Megiddo. I don't know. You know everything. You know the end from the beginning. We just trust you, Father, but we pray for the people. We look at this, 110 million, 124 million. We pray for the people of these lands, Lord. We lift up our world before you and we pray, Father. Father, as Israel is starting to wind down its battle with Hamas, its battle in Rafah, I just know, we know, they have said it very clearly that they're going to be taken care of up north. The Lebanese people don't want it, but these evil people that are there. We saw what happened just the other day over in the Russia area when these terrorists come in. We pray for them, but yet, if they don't want to change, that they're eliminated, that they're caught, Lord. These people that want to, these two men that killed a 12-year-old child, come on, come on, that's demonic. Oh, I can't imagine what that little girl went through. They need to be, they need to have the capital punishment brought to them, Lord, because your word says that very clear. We pray, we pray for Israel today, we pray. Also for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord. And we pray, Father, for people. I pray for these demonically possessed people that they can be set free, that they can be set free, that that demons will come out of them. Anyone that would murder a person, anyone that would harm people in, in such vile ways, that possess people, Lord. We pray for them today in Jesus' name. Lord, you cast out devils all throughout the Bible, and we thank you that we cast out devils today. We pray, I hear the son of Sam, remember that when I was alive, when I was young, and yet he became a born-again Christian, a born-again Christian serving you. We pray, Father, we pray. We lift up our United States of America. We lift up West Virginia. We lift up Maryland, and we pray. For these two states, in fact, we pray for all the states today, Lord, and I thank you for that, Father. Father, I lift up different organizations that are doing your work today. We lift up the Gideons. What a great work. Praying effectively for the lost, the Jesus Film Project. We pray for these great works, Lord, that are out there. Praying effectively for the lost ministries, over a million of those books have been given away, over a million, amazing, that someone would have a, a vision to do that, Lord. Thank you, thank you for that. Now, Lord, we pray over the prayer cards and we lift up fellow brothers and sisters. And I just thank you, Father, for needs being met, healings in bodies, Lord, healings in bodies in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, thank you that you are the healer, the provider, thank you. We lift up all these prayer cards today, Lord. Lord, I also lift up the Timothy Initiative, Trans World Radio, Transform World, TBN, Tr Trinity Broadcasting Network, United Bible Society, United Church of Canada, and U United for Missions, Lord. Now, Father, I pray for my fellow brothers and sisters, and I pray for blessings upon them. Oh, I pray for that person who just had an operation and things just still don't feel right. I just pray, Father, for things to turn around, things to turn around. Oh, Lord, sometimes it seems when we're going through stuff, I went through that stuff with my lungs just recently, I feel like, is this ever going to go? And yet it does. I thank you, Father. Pray for my brothers and sisters, healing in bodies today, Lord. I pray for that one that's seeking a job. I just thank you for guiding their feet to the right job. I pray for that husband who feels like a failure right now. I pray for encouragement, help, and the stamina to get out there and to make it happen. And I thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We love you, sir. Mm. 
pray for that one that has been affected in the face. I don't know exactly what it is, but something in the face. Healing is coming. Healing is coming. Healing is coming. Hold on. Don't let go. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, we praise you and thank you for this day. Thank you to Jesus. He is Lord. He is Lord. We love you so. Praise the Father. Praise the Son. And praise the Holy Spirit, the Blessed Trinity, the three in one. Lord, we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. Please hit that share button there. Put a thumbs up. Goes a long way. God bless.